back to my channel finally getting around to doing a video on the newer style from Vera Bradley the small convertible backpack I believe is the name and this is in the newer Disney collaboration print I think it's Mickey's flirty floral tonal or something along those lines this is actually one of like three or four of the Mickey prints that they've released this go around. This is the performance twill version. When I saw that they were coming out with a performance twill Disney collaboration pattern, I was really excited because this is actually a first for them. When they do collaborations, it almost always, or at least in the past, has always come in signature cotton or in recent times recycled cotton. So I was really excited to see something that was water resistant. Out of all the current fabrications that Vera Bradley offers, right now Performance Twill is my favorite. I do think it is relatively unchanged compared to some of the other fabrications that Vera has, such as the recycled cotton. There are some differences, some lack of features that came from the transition from signature to recycled. And I feel like Performance Twill, at least across the board so far, has been really good quality. I was really excited for that. And I'm also really excited to try a new style. I have been really missing the Performance Twill mini backpack that Vera had a couple years ago, which we will go into more depth on some of those bags in the background uh, later in the video. But also I've always wanted a small backpack that had like a, a shoulder or crossbody strap option and you do get that option with this. So far on YouTube, I haven't seen any um, in-depth reviews on this bag, or maybe any at all so far, so I really wanted to get this up, especially since I've gotten several questions on my Instagram in the almost three weeks that I've had this bag, and I've been wanting to get a video up. Some of you have been asking me to film a video, and finally I'm trying to set some time aside to get this up for, for everybody who had questions or anybody who's just generally curious about this new style. I'll also talk about the print um, at some point in this video. But let's go ahead and start talking about this new bag style. So this is a really great size. This is very similar in size to Vera Bradley's Performance Twill mini backpack. If you are familiar with this, there is a newer mini backpack on the Vera Bradley website today. I'll stick a photo of it somewhere here. And it is recycled cotton drawstring mini backpack which is very popular like everybody's been buying this this Mickey mini drawstring backpack whatever the full, full official name is it's been super popular I almost got it but I thought this this was pricey enough I couldn't get both it was gonna be a one or the other type deal and I almost Actually, not almost. I always opt for a zipper over any other type of opening. I, I'm not a huge fan of drawstrings, just to be honest. So I'm always going to go for the zipper, even if that means it costs a little bit more. I think that's worth, I think it, for me it's worth having, especially on an item that might be on my back most of the time, out of sight. I do think a zipper is uh, worth it. So this is the older style mini backpack that Vera used to do. It's in Performance Twill. The print shown to you here is park stripe and these two are very similar in size this is a little bit smaller but they're actually very similar in both size height and capacity but just to show you so you can see the back of this is a little bit wider of course and the straps are are wider but yes they are very very similar in size so that's the mini and then this is Vera Bradley's small backpack so this is a custom version. They're essentially the same size as the signature version. So you, you'll see that this backpack is quite a bit bigger than this one. It might not look like it initially on screen, but trust me, it is. I mean, there you can just see the capacity. I mean, this is taller, it's wider. The small backpack over here is definitely bigger and holds more than the small convertible backpack for sure. 100%. In case you're wondering, like, you don't know which one to get, you don't know if you should try a small backpack or this one, it all depends on what you're looking for in a bag, because this does some things that the small backpack doesn't do, 
And then on the other side, the small backpack holds a lot more than this one does. So it just depends on what you're looking for. When I first got this, another bag that this reminded me of, weirdly enough, is Lugs Ranger. This is the regular size Lug Ranger. The print here is a bouquet black, I think. And they're very similar, very similar, not only in size, but also in shape. They're about the same size. You get more base on this one, but they're very similar. They're actually very similar. You do get a little more this way than on this one. But let me just pop back over to these bags real quick, back here, and just show you the bases. So there, that's where you can really see that this has a little bit of a longer base, but overall, they're very similar in capacity. Look at that. You, you're going to get a lot more in the small backpack, 100%. So if you're wondering, I would say it's almost right on par with capacity of the Lug Ranger. It's a little bit bigger than the mini backpack and definitely smaller than the small backpack. It's somewhere in between these two in terms of size. So with the small convertible backpack, there are no pockets directly on the front. Once I got the bag, I was totally fine with there not being a pocket there. Number one, because if I really wanted a pocket on the front of my bag, I'll just go pop over into one of my mini backpacks, one of my favorite styles from Vera. I have the Performance Tool mini backpack in almost every color and pattern that it came in. That's how much I love that style. So if I really am missing a front pocket, I will just pop over into that style and and just use that one. But that has not been something that I was missing on this. As a matter of fact, I, I have been in this bag for almost three weeks now. It'll be three weeks here in a couple days. So I've not been missing anything in this bag. This bag has checked all the boxes, so to speak. The other thing I wanted to mention too, I, I kind of like that there's no front pocket for two reasons. One, because whatever pattern you get, you're not gonna have to worry about any awkward cutoffs with the pattern placement. I noticed that the pattern is coming off a little cooler on camera today. It is a little bit more warm in person, so this is showing up kind of, at least to me, I don't know how it's going to look to you on your end, but this is showing up a little bit white. This is actually a lavender color to me in person. The background is purple. It looks a little blackish blue on, on camera, but it's purple with this lavender out, lavender and black outlining. So that's my pattern placement. I did order this on the website, so I did not get to pick my pattern placement. And I, I'm actually very happy with it. I'm not, I haven't been obsessing over pattern placement as often lately. I don't know what's happening to me as a viewer fan. I do think pattern placement is still something that matters to me. Don't I haven't been buying very much lately, so that's another element. But the things that I have bought the past few months after coming back like from a little bit of a break, I just haven't really cared about pattern placement. I really love this Mickey seemingly hanging from the top of the performance tool zipper there. I like this Mickey kind of turned around over here. We've got um, the Mickey Mini Duo at the bottom and we've got um, Sassy Mickey or Mini. I love this Mini on the pocket with her tongue out. That is really cute. And then we get the hanging from the uh, leaf Mickey on the pocket again there. So I'm really happy with this pattern placement. Nothing to complain about on my corner here. I also really love this big flower with the hidden Mickey heads in it. So that that's another thing that I really liked about this pattern. Out of all of the, the patterns from this release, I'll, I'll stick a photo of all the ones that came out, that you could get either a bag or an accessory in. This is my favorite. I really, and I, I did I did get a couple other items. I got the zip ID, I'll stick a picture of that here because I'm not using it right now. And I got the cord organizer, I will stick a picture of that too. It's actually the cord organizer that you're seeing here is the same pattern as this. It's just the colorful version, whereas this is the tonal. You really only get three colors in this version. This is my favorite. However, the pattern that I just showed you a little bit ago and the novelty zip ID, that is my favorite. And that's the interior of this. I absolutely love that pattern, but this this was out of like the patterns that you could actually get like a, a purse style in, this was my favorite. And again, I really love that it was in Performance Twill. 
it has rained in, in the almost three weeks that I've used this. It's rained several times and not once have I had to change out of my bag because it was cotton and I didn't want it to get wet. I was able to stay in this and wipe it off and not have to worry about it if it got wet. So just wanted to kind of sidebar that. We're going back to the pattern real quick. Yeah, very happy with that placement. You do get the macro square quilting, of course, with the performance twill. Lovely. So yeah, going back, no front pocket, totally okay with that. Another reason why I'm okay with there not being a front pocket here is because this is not just a backpack. It is can be worn as like a shoulder bag. So when you're wearing this, it's very sleek on the body, similar to the Ranger that we just looked at. And I think that's why I like this so much because the Ranger has that sleek, not bulky look when you're wearing it as a crossbody. And I feel like if this had the same pocket that the mini backpack has, it could look too backpack-ish or too bulky to wear as like a crossbody or a shoulder bag. What it does have in terms of exterior organization, you get a slip pocket here, which I think I just have a grocery list in, so I'll take that out. And in this side pocket, I have hand sanitizer, chapstick, and then I think I just have like receipts and old grocery lists down there. Just keep it down there for now. Another question I've been asked on my Instagram, can you fit a water bottle in this? Yes, you can. So I do have a, you know, your standard 16.9 ounce plastic water bottle that you can get from the grocery or just about anywhere else. These will fit in here. It's not going to be the most elegant process getting it in there, if you heard that. It is a little bit of squishing and squeezing to make it fit. I think for two reasons. One, because the pocket is not elasticized at the top, and two, it's performance twill. It's not cotton. It's not a very flexible fabrication in comparison to the cotton. You can get that in there, and that's what it looks like. I have used it like this as a backpack with that water bottle in there and it, it was fine, didn't fall out, didn't feel weird, it was perfect. But just in case you want to see, you know, if you got a small backpack or, or looking at a small backpack, and I do have this completely stuffed, this backpack stuffed, but look, it fits in there a lot better. It doesn't look as big because this is a bigger style. So that is, hopefully answers that question. Now, if you got like a tumbler or like just a bigger water bottle in general, it's probably not going to fit in that pocket. If you have a smartphone that is just like a, you know, average size, I, I never know about the, the, um, the Max, the Pluses, the, the bigger Samsung iPhones. I'm not sure about those because I have never owned one of those. But if you have like a mini, which is what this is, or an average size cell phone, it's going to fit in there. Now with the mini, the mini goes all the way down. You can't, you can barely see the top of my case there. I assume if you have like a regular size, it's probably gonna come up a little bit more and then a plus or max, probably gonna come up even more from that. So that is just a demonstration there. I put my phone in here all of the time. I also love to slip lists, grocery receipts, you know, that's a perfect pocket for that. If we go on over to the back here, we do have a slip pocket. Now we're gonna get into some more of the Mickey placement real quick, just to kind of go over, just so you can see the, the pot, if you do order this bag online, these are the possible pattern placements you might get on the front and or back of your bag. So those are two different Mickeys that we haven't seen yet on my bag. So we have a slip pocket on the back here it opens from here to here, so it doesn't span the full width of the seam that you see here, just here and here, but it does go vertically all the way down to the back, not horizontally. You can't access these sides just vertically, and it does make a great cell phone pocket. My phone does go all the way down. You can't even see the top of it. This pocket also serves as a place to slip your backpack straps into. So now we're going to start getting into more of some of the things that I would change about this bag. I do I wish that these backpack straps were detachable at the bottom. Lug does this with their convertible backpacks. I always think of the Cantor 
for example. With the Canter, it is a backpack, shoulder bag, crossbody, satchel type bag. It's got all, all the straps, right? With that, you could detach these bottom straps and tuck them in the back slip pocket that Lug has made specifically for your backpack straps. With this one, you cannot detach the backpack straps. They are fixed. If you are a crafting wizard, you could absolutely, you know, find a way to get this ring off here and put your own quick release ring and be able to do that. I know some bag friends like Warthog Princess. She has done that, I think, with her one of the older zip liner styles, and that is really clever. I'm actually thinking about maybe someday, now that I know I love this style, maybe I will try that with this bag. Not anytime soon because I'm I'm pretty content with the way it is configured, surprisingly enough, but I think maybe someday I could try that. But Vera, honestly, especially the price that they're making you pay for this bag, they should do that. They should be putting the quick release ring so you can clip it off and tuck it back in here. But here is what it looks like when you obviously have the straps attached and you want to tuck it in. So I it's going to be really hard to show you the process and hold the bag up but and make it look all nice. So I'm going to do it a little sloppily here on camera just so you can see it. So there is one strap and that's kind of what it looks like. And you can adjust this that is not sticking out, but that's what it's going to look like. And then let's do the second strap here. Again, just remember, I'm not I'm not like doing this in any fancy way. I'm just kind of getting it in there and that's kind of what it looks like so if you wanted to wear this as a shoulder bag and you don't want those straps to be hanging around that is what it's going to look like i love that it just looks so sleek and even though it's full like this is not a humongous base bouncing all over your body you'll also see that it tapers so it's wider at the bottom and gets thinner at the top and I love how they reinforced this. It's kind of hard to see with the, the fabric here, but there is a reinforced piece of performance twill here with a hardy D-ring. It is like your brushed metal fabricator, or brushed metal look. It is very reinforced. That's not going anywhere. I don't think you ever have to worry about this wearing off because I'm telling you, this piece is so stiff. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out real quick. But yeah, look how it tapers. I love that. I do think that is very genius in the way that is constructed. And that's why it reminds me of the Ranger so much. This is basically a Ranger with side pockets. And of course, you know, it doesn't zip all the way down. That's why I wanted to point that out. I think that was really something that stuck out to me when wearing this bag. It just looks to me so much. Of course, it's not as boxy, I guess. As the Ranger, it's got a rounded top versus like the squared or rectangular top. That's kind of why I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the Ranger. I have to try this bag. And that's probably why I haven't been able to change out of this bag because once you get me in a Ranger for lug, I, I can't get out of that bag either. And it's kind of the same deal with this one. And while I have these straps tucked in, I might as well just show you. This is what the bag looks like on as a long shoulder. And this strap is not really a crossbody strap. As you can see, I have it adjusted all the way to the end. I'm 5'2", and this is where the bag sits on me, which is not bad, but I typically like my crossbodies to land a little bit lower on the hip than that. So that, I would say, is another thing I would change about this bag, and this is on Vera, right? They should give you the price you're paying. You should get a longer adjusting strap to make this a crossbody. I'm short, that's what it looks like on me. If you're any taller, this is going to be sitting all the way up here on you as a crossbody. So that's another thing that I would change. If they don't market it as a crossbody, I don't think. That would be an even bigger problem, but I just personally think for what you're paying, that should be a crossbody strap. And then if you have it adjusted all the way to a shoulder bag length, this sits really high up in the armpit. So if you're someone who likes... And actually that feels pretty good. That doesn't feel too bad on me because it feels really like secure and close to the body. And it's actually a cute silhouette. Going back to um, this configuration, I just think the way the bag on the outside is structured is very smart 
for wearing it as a backpack, a shoulder bag, or a crossbody. Even though this doesn't adjust crossbody, remember you could take this off, put your own strap on, and I just think when you're wearing it like this, it doesn't look like a backpack. I think if it had all those, you know, different types of pockets, kind of like this, that's going to look like a backpack if that had a crossbody option, which it does not. But if it did, that's going to look like a backpack when you're wearing it. Whereas this doesn't look like a backpack, to me at least. I mean, the side pockets typically are a, a dead ringer. Like, oh, that has side pockets, that's a backpack. But it might be a mixture because these are so tightly tucked in. And because this is a tonal print, you can't really see them that makes it look so good. Sorry for that little try on side commentary. We will try it on as a backpack later so you can see what that looks like. But I just wanted to address that too. So again, this is what it looks like tucked in. It's not bad. I've, I've worn it like this with the, the straps tucked in. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I've worn it like this with this, this strap, with these straps out. It doesn't really bother me. It's weird because I thought it would bother me when I first saw this style online and realized you couldn't unclip these and tuck them away. I was like, dang it, like, I don't want to spend the money and not be able to do that. But when they released it in the Disney print, I was like, this is pretty unique. You know, you get a Disney print, you get performance twill, you get a shoulder bag and a backpack. Like, I got to try this thing. And the, the straps being out really didn't bother me like I thought it would. Would I still like them to be clip aways? Yes, because I just think that functionality, it's just a no-brainer. I don't know why Vera didn't do it. And I just think when you do want to wear this long-term as a crossbody or shoulder bag, it just makes more sense to have those sleekly tucked away, you know, sleek and discreet. You do get a top handle. This material, it's, it's like kind of seat belt material. It's a little softer, a little more flexible. And I have smaller hands. I mean, I can squeeze my hand through there, but I don't. I just kind of squeeze the first four fingers through and just grip it like that if I'm grabbing it off the passenger seat. I do wish, this is another thing I would change, not a big deal, it's not a deal breaker or anything. I do wish that this had a handle like this. Like, just imagine if it had a nice hardy grab handle like the ranger did i think that would not only look better but just be more practical and that is it for all of the features on the outside of the bag let's get into the inside i'll go ahead and untuck these backpack straps so you get the nice lovely performance tool zipper you get two zipper pulls the zipper pulls are the purple grosgrain vera bradley disney on both sides there and they zip down right to the top of the pocket just a little bit down into the pocket and I want to point this out too this is nice because if you do take this backpack to Disney World which someday I've, I've been to Disney World once if I ever get to go again I will be taking this backpack a hundred percent and I like this because if you want any extra added security you can just tuck these to one side and tuck them into the slip pocket and they are very discreet. You'll know that your stuff is safe. If you wanna take it a step further, I know people sometimes either put like a little lock or just a keychain on the zipper pulls and then tuck the keychain in here and that even makes it more secure. So, or you could actually clip something to the D-ring. That way, no matter what, you know, if someone's trying to pickpocket you, whether you go to Disney World or you're just going somewhere that might be a high traffic potentially, you know, pickpockety area, that security to the D-ring will just make you feel better. So I do love that. Here is the inside of my bag. Again, you're gonna see it real life here. All my stuff is in there. Been living in this bag for weeks now, so this is just a real life view. This interior print is one of the main reasons why I purchased this bag. The, the mini backpack has this interior print, the small Vera tote has this interior print, almost all the bags have this interior print besides the solid cotton like burgundy that has a different interior print I think, but the rest of them have this. I love this. This is actually one of my favorite interior prints, just to get you in close there so you can see. 
what that interior print looks like. So pretty. I love that background color. It's just beautiful. And there's all my stuff. And yeah, so that is another reason why I just haven't been able to change, change out of this bag because it is one of the best interior prints I've ever seen. There is no pocket on the front wall. That is something I would add. I would actually rather have that instead of a pocket on the front because in your mini backpack, you do get a pocket on the front that is like for your cell phone. But I think that'd be a perfect place to, just to stick little things like if you're using a, a card case as a wallet or if you wanna put your phone in there sunglasses, bottle of lotion. So that is a missing element from this bag that needs to be here. Even in the small backpack, they give you two slip pockets on the front. So I feel like the price you're paying for this bag, they should obviously put that in there. On the back, you do get a hearty sized zipper pocket. Let's get the key leash out of the way for a sec. Get a nice hardy size zipper pocket and I just have, let's see, make sure I'm not giving away the farm here. I just have like papers, I have like a, a plastic bag for like the grocery store, napkins, just stuff like that stuffed in there. And let me see, does it go to the bottom of the bag? Yep, goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. Here is the other thing that attracted me to this bag, the fact that they are starting to add key leashes. So it attaches up here. It is the same material as this. It's just, this is like doubled, whereas this is just like a single piece of fabric. So it's way more flexible than this is. And I have my keys on here. My keys have been on here for weeks. Easy to find if I need to take them off there and use them for something. It's just perfect. I love that. And they just kind of sit like that in my bag. And I absolutely love it. If I need to take them out and have them hang outside of the bag, I can. If you want to take them out and like put them in the slip pocket for even quicker access, you can do that. I have no complaints about this. I love it. They do give you, you know, a nice uh, lobster claw. It's again in that brushed metal. It's really nice and I love that. Top Notch Severa for looking either at Lug or Kipling or both or any other bag brand that does key leashes and saying, time for us to do key leashes too. I do think Vera used to do key leashes and their older style Vera tote from like years and years and years ago. I think they used to have it like in one of the front pockets, it used to be like a little key leash. So Vera used to be on the key leash bandwagon, but then um, they didn't do it anymore in the Vera tote. So now they're starting to do it in some of their newer styles. So that's that. Let's go ahead and look at what's in the bag because this is kind of a mixed bag video. It's like a review, what's in my bag, review of the pattern, and a try on, like all of my videos. So the first thing that I have in here is this clip and zip coin purse, I think is the name of this, I have no idea. This is in my favorite pattern that Vera has released this year so far, Bloom Boom Navy. This is actually a, this item actually wasn't sold anywhere, this item pattern combo. This was actually a tester item. You were picked in Insiders if you were going to be a part of this um, test group for this newer style. I actually wasn't picked for that. I found this on ThreadUp. So someone who was picked for that test gave this item to ThreadUp. I found it on there. I bought it. Since it's my favorite pattern, I was like, I gotta grab something in this. I love this. I've been in this for weeks now too. It's just a really nifty item. It's basically your standard size like newer style coin purse from Vera, but they just added this kind of key leash attachment here. So it is in the shiny metal. And you can, you know, attach this to the outside of your bag. You can use it as an oversized bag charm. You can attach it to the outside and like throw it in here and then just be able to like whip it out and just have your keys inside of it. Or you can use it as a wallet. You can use this as anything pretty much. So there is a close-up, got a nice butterfly there on the front. And even when this pattern doesn't feature, like even if you get a cut of this pattern that doesn't have the butterflies, the florals are so beautiful in this print. So there's the back. And in this, I am carrying, zips out on the side a little bit there, a pack of gum inside and a pack of tissues 
And just the configuration with this is that you get a slip pocket on one wall and a slip pocket on the other. Look at that interior. That is another reason why I love this pattern. I just love the interior of this. Love this item. Do not see myself changing out of this anytime soon. Actually, it might be the one of these one of those items like the mini choo-choo from Lug that I never change out of. I just keep in my bag forever. I've had a mini choo-choo in my bag ever since Lug first released the mini choo-choo, which I don't know how long it's been. Has it been a year? Has it been over a year? Has it even been a year? I don't know. But I've had the mini choo-choo in my bag for a really long time. That's probably how it's going to be with this pouch. It's not leaving my bag. And then I have my wallet, which is the zip ID from Vera, and this is in French paisley. I've got a pretty pink bird and this beautiful large floral paisley combo. This was actually given to me for free as a gift. A, I purchased something earlier this year from a seller that I like bought a lot of stuff from last year when I was going through my crazy buy everything and sight phase. And she just threw in a couple of zip IDs. She actually threw in a zip ID in this print, Boom Boom Navy, which I didn't have. I had the deluxe zip ID, but she threw in a regular zip ID, which I used a lot this summer. And then she threw in this one. And the other French Paisley zip ID I have is really worn because I used it a lot. And so this one was new with tags and it's beautiful and I appreciate it so much. So I've been using this for about a month now actually haven't changed out of I mean if you if you watch my any of my Instagram stories you'll see a lot of the accessories are the same but um, I haven't done a lot of YouTube videos recently so some of these might be new if you're watching just on YouTube this is the lug mini choo choo that I reference I have several patterns in the mini choo choo and I just rotate them out as I feel necessary this is ocean blue and what I like to keep in here, it's a little bit jumbled around because I was using this earlier. I just have a couple pill cases. I have this little inhaler stick, a nail file, mini scissors, nail clippers. And then I always keep band-aids in here. That is my mini choo-choo. I also have this Vera Bradley double eyeglass case, Rainforest Canopy, I think is the name of this print. And this is a two-fold item, so I do, you know, use it as a glasses case. But then I also use it to hold my lotion, which is pumpkin cupcake. Since there isn't a front pocket in there, I typically put the lotion in there, but this acts as a front pocket for me. Then I have my, let's see, my usual, my sure thing pouch. This just has, I, this is another thing that, I have in every single bag. Probably for the past couple years this has been in my bag. Feminine products, hair tie, COVID-19 vaccine card, hair pick, that sort of thing. Deodorant. All in there. So I have a working hands lotion. My hands are really dry. And then I also have sunscreen. Because even when it's cold, you still need sunscreen. The sun doesn't go away. Uh, what else? Okay, I have a ton of receipts at the bottom, which I'm not going to pull up. I do have a mini notebook. And I do need a pen. That's one thing I don't have in here. There are no pen holders in here, by the way. But I, I usually do have a pen in this bag, and I think I took it out for whatever reason. And then just my headphones. If you wanted to put a water bottle in here, which you can, it will fit standard size water bottle that's what it looks like and just so you can see like a general size comparison that's what that looks like I love this bag I truly love this bag I I don't want to change out of it that's how much I like it and then there are the, the backpack straps now we'll talk about those so you do get a nice width they're very padded they're very flexible they're squishy they're nice and you'll see that the the tail of the strap is, you know, tucked into the buckle there, so there is no strap hanging like you do get with the small backpack. So you see those tails kind of hanging there. I love that you don't have those tails kind of hanging around with this one, and the straps are pretty hardy. Another question that I got on my Instagram, do these adjusters move around a lot? Yes and no. Yes, 
meaning if you if you have this on the body and you like just kind of pull at those like intentionally they will adjust easy let me try to see if i can demonstrate that for you so i have them right where i want them right now and let me just go ahead and and show you what that looks like and yes i do wear it like this with the shoulder strap attached now in a busy area i probably wouldn't wear this out like this i probably would take this off and put it in like the slip pocket or something mainly for two reasons one i would be afraid that someone would like try to grab this and like pull me um but for a more the second reason which is probably maybe more likely i'd be afraid that this would get stuck on something um so i in like a busy area like maybe a city with lots of people lots of things around i would you know put the strap away but I don't live anywhere anymore right now that's like, that makes me worry like that. So that just hangs out like that. No problem. So that's what that looks like on me. I do have it a little bit lower on my back, which is where I like it. But I, you know, I can adjust it and make it go up higher like this if I wanted to. But that is where I like it to sit. So back to that question. Um, Someone said that she had a Performance Twill small backpack that the straps do not, like the buckles do not stay where you want them to stay. These stay on me, period. I mean, with this small convertible backpack, I'm not sure about the Performance Twill small backpack. I'll stick a picture of that one here. This is what that one looks like. I don't know, I do have one of these, like, in a different pattern, but I honestly, I haven't worn it. A lot to be able to say like oh yes the adjusters don't stay in place they move around too much I have worn this enough to say these adjusters do stay in place they do not shift around a lot but if you are you know you decide hey you know I want my backpack to be a little bit lower on my back they do uh, they do move easy on the body like that so that's what I mean when I say you know do these move around a lot Yes and no, because no, if you don't want them to, they won't. But if you do want them to, and you do actively go back here and say, okay, I want this to go all the way up my back, you can. You can move it really easily. And it's it's super easy to reach. You're not having to struggle. Whereas I do feel like with these, these plastic adjusters that you get with the small backpack, at least the signature cotton one, and probably the recycled cotton has these plastic adjusters too. I, I think they do. These are, they're still easy to adjust, but not as easy as these. I mean, these just slide really easily, but they still stay in place, at least for me and my experience. So I hope that answers that question for anybody who has it. Here is the, the front view, the front profile of these straps. Very, very comfortable. I love that they gave you a lot of material sometimes I feel like they don't give you enough material on their backpack straps and so you know you have that seat belt material like right in your armpits whereas this material here is so soft it's just so squishy and soft I mean it on camera it looks like it's seat belt material but it's so soft it's not it's it's just beautiful I love it that's why for the price point I took a chance I, I took a chance on this and said if if I don't like it, it going back. I'm getting my money back because ain't nobody got the time or money to spend on things that they're going to stick in their closet and never use. I mean, I do have a, some stuff in my closet that, you know, <laughs> I haven't used in a while. But I did go through my collection recently and got rid of a lot of stuff. So I feel good about that. This has been in use for three weeks now. So I, I just, I've loved it and I'm enjoying it and I'm getting my money's worth and my material again water resistant let's let's go ahead and test it out I'll get it on there you can see see those water beads there beads right off so I got some on my pants but not much so that's okay I just wanted to demo that that you know you get water on this you bring this out in the rain it's just gonna be right off um, unlike the cotton which is just gonna absorb it in okay so I think I talked about everything that I wanted to talk about with this style. If I've forgotten anything or if you still have any uh, 
you know, have any additional questions, just leave them down below in the comment section. And I'll try to get back to posting more consistently. It's just, it's kind of been uh, hard to do that lately uh, for various reasons. But that is the new small convertible backpack style in the Disney collaboration print. Mickey's flirty floral tonal, something like that. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!